All right, hi, how's it going? Just want to make a video. My current setup with the Element Enduro Sendero HD 110th trail truck. Now I've had this vehicle for a couple months. I really enjoy it. I'll take a little time here to tell you what I have in mind. Things I like, things I don't like. Some upgrades, things like that. As you can see, the original truck came with General Grabber tires. And even though they look very scale, they do not perform well at all. One thing I did do was I altered the tires by cutting some of the lugs off and it actually made a humongous difference uh, it's kind of hard to see but I cut every other long lug off and then in the center I cut a lot of the center hubs off feels like it grips better it climbs better does better in mud overall huge improvement also on the side lugs I did every other one as well, staggering with the long ones that I cut off. And it'll actually bite on the side of the tire when you're up against a rock. So much better than, they, than the way they come. Uh, on the other hand, I am not running these currently on the rig. I am running the TRX Canyon Trail tires. Here's an example of what those look like. But I also modded these. And what I did was I cut out the very small lug, which is attached to a larger lug in the center tread line. It just frees it up a little bit more, it clean out better, and I feel that it climbs rocks better. So that's what's currently on the HD right now. Um, some of the things I did was obviously stickers that came with the truck and I cut the wheel wells or the fenders rather fender flares off it was just constant body rubbing when the uh, suspension was compressed it was really annoying just cut it off uh, complaint with the body it's very thin I know this is the HD version they said it was better than the gray version 1 Endero Sendero that came out but as you see here the corners cracking splitting overall it's just not really a strong body not like the TRX not even like the Gen 8 Scout um, it just doesn't hold up very well other than that I do like the way it looks the mirrors, I thought these were going to be gone after the first couple rollovers. They're still there. And I have rolled this down some serious hills. Uh, let's see. So that's the body. That's where it's at. We'll take that off. Talk about some upgrades that I've done. I ordered uh, the Hobby Wing 1080 ESC which is really nice for programming, you know, how smooth it starts up, braking, etc. That also comes with a programmable card, so you can change everything. It's a lot easier than worrying about beeps and hitting other buttons and sequences. This lights up, it tells you everything you need to do. Just plug it right in. Uh, another thing that this vehicle comes with is an overdrive feature and comes stock with I believe it's like a 5% overdrive and then there's optional gearing that'll get you to 11.83 overdrive which just means that the front wheel is going to spin faster than the rear wheel uh, helps with climbing uh, bites better in the front end uh, there's also another option out there and this is what I went with by Team K&K &K. 
they sell in 25% overdrive, which is pretty significant change over the stock options that you get. Uh, highly encourage it. It's real easy to put in and it does make a huge difference. Other things I did to this, um, once I got the 1080 ESC, I changed the battery connection um, to one of these. What is this, XT60, I believe. Yeah, XT60. Uh, other things I had to do, or I chose to do, was I ordered these SSD front hubs. They're brass, gives it good weight. I typically like to run the rigs where the front end is heavier than the rear end, keeps it from tipping backwards, keeps it planted to the ground also for side hilling. Uh, along with that was these brass wheel hub nuts that your rim locks onto. Uh, these are actually wider as well. I, I believe these are eight millimeters. So basically the truck is about an eighth inch to a quarter inch overall wider. Gives it a little wider stance. In order to prove, improve on the weight in the front end also, I got a diff cover as well. That's brass. Uh, the rear end, the only brass I added were the SSD, just brass wheel weights. Um, again, that and the brass wheel nuts adapters. Um, it's overall considerably heavier than just the plain old stock. Um, the other upgrade is I changed the radio. The radio that comes with this is actually a nice radio. Not much to complain about. It's the XP-130. Um, I left this out in the direct sunlight for about 15 minutes on a really hot day. I don't know if you could see it, but that plastic sheet that tells you what all these knobs and buttons do actually started to curl up like a potato chip so that was a little disappointing <laughs> but i upgraded to the fly sky gt3c this radio actually has a lipo battery just plug it in it'll charge um, and also you can run more than one vehicle with this all you have to do is buy a receiver for the other vehicles and those are anywhere from, I don't know, 7 to $13. You get them on eBay, Amazon, A-Main Hobbies. I decided to stick with the 2S Reedy LiPo that came with this. Um, it's the Shorty. And what's nice is Element gives you... The shorty battery tray and also a longer tray for regular size packs. I think if I'm going to do anything else to this, I might upgrade the servo. The stock servo is relatively strong. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many ounces it's rated at. I don't find myself being in too many situations where I can't get out of a, a bind because of lack of steering power. But that might be the next thing to change. The five slot motor, the Reedy five slot, um, it's, been, it's been really good. Even with the weight, it's very smooth, probably because it's five slot. Uh, I've had no issues with it. Yeah, another upgrade that I might be kicking around is maybe getting a Holmes Hobby Crawlmaster Sport uh, 550 can with a 12T. But other than that, I, I mean, I really can't complain about this truck 
for the price. I mean, it climbs so well. Uh, comes with LED lights in the front. Uh, aluminum shocks. It's got the behind the actual st steering where the rod is actually behind instead of in the front like most vehicles. It's kind of nice. It's got a really good turning radius. And again, I mean, it just it is so capable of crawling. I hope uh, if anyone's interested in one of these, I could help you out. And stay tuned for some more crawling videos. Thank you.